All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Village of Royal Palm Beach Special Magistrate hearing for Wednesday, July 13th, 2022. As I like to say, if you have a code enforcement issue, you're in the right place. My name is Doug McGibbon. I'm the Special Magistrate. First thing I'm going to do is swear everyone in. I'll probably do this multiple times as strays come through. Everyone raise your right hand. We're going to say, I do, and we're done. Does everyone swear or affirm that they are about to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. And everyone knows they're left from their right. It's a good thing. All right, most of our hearings today are either going to be fine assessment hearings or violation hearings. When you hear your name being called, please go up to that podium over there. You'll identify yourself. The village will show you some documentation, ask if you object. They'll present their case. You can question them. You get to present whatever defenses you have, and then I get to make a decision. That flips when we get to the fine mitigation hearings. Uh, those people have been through the violation and the fine setting process. They're asking for relief, so they'll get to go first, and then the village will get to respond. I believe I've handled all of the introductory comments, so Village of Royal Palm Beach, please take it away. Thank you, sir. Amity Barnard, Assistant Village Attorney. We're starting on page one, status slash fine assessment hearings. Case 21-0795-10576, Fascination Lane. Kenneth M. and Yolesmi Yol Lustig. Margaret Hancock, Code Officer, Village Royal Palm Beach Code Enforcement. I can enter the following documents into evidence. Exhibit one, previous order find in violation. Exhibit two, verification ownership. Exhibit three, pictures. Exhibit 4, AS 400 permit information. Okay, you have a signed green card, so you have service. What are we doing here? Your name for the record? Your name, sir? Uh, Kenneth Lustig. And the lady with you? Me Lustig. Thank you. Okay. Those documents that I just handed you, those are the exhibits that the village would like to enter into evidence. Do you have any objection to those documents? Recently, we've received a permit. No, 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 no. We're just asking you if those documents are okay. They're just mainly service okay. materials, ownership materials, and pictures. And they should be fine, but you get to decide. Yes, sir, I did receive these. Okay. He has no objections to the document. Thank so you, sir. We had a roof in disrepair. I think we're having a roof in repair. The roof is still in disrepair. He did get the permit for the stucco, as you can see in the photos, that they are repairing that. They painted the home so it's no longer stained, but they still do have the roof in disrepair. Okay. So uh, I see from what we have here, we're down to the roof is in disrepair. What are you guys doing with that? Personally, I think the roof looks really very nice considering what it used to look like. So it does look it does look better. Uh, it it has a protection coating on it uh, from the insurance company, and we just received word from the insurance company. And I can show you this document on my phone, um, where uh, they have the court has issued uh, a trial. Uh, an order setting trial of the above matter. Uh, the date of this is December 19th through February 24th. They haven't pinned down the date of when they'll be able to see my case, uh, and my attorney will not be able to narrow down the exact date of time the case will be heard until December 9th. It's, so it's, calendar it's call. all in litigation, and I, my hands are tied. I can't really yeah. do anything. Calendar call or cattle call? Been to a thousand of those. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear. It's either called a calendar call or a kettle call. We had where, a really hard. All the people show up. Actually, they do it online nowadays, and they tell you what your conflict dates are and what your trial dates are and whether you're primary, you're a backup, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I probably pulled this back in because they're in the middle of litigation. They're working towards resolving the problems they can resolve, and we're waiting for the roof issue to be resolved with their insurance company, which sounds like it will happen in the fairly near future because one of the requirements of your trial order is that they set mediation before trial and everyone will show up and try to see whether or not they can settle it. 
Yes, sir. 30 years as a trial attorney. I think I can, I, I have shown in, in the recent months uh, on the repairs of my house that I have in interest tried to uh, resolve the matters. Yes, you have. And, you, um, you fixed two out of the three problems. I yes, sir. And as soon as I get the insurance proceeds, the roof will be repaired as quickly as possible. Okay. Are we good with this? Can we bump them? Yeah, the, I guess the issue is bumping that far out until February of 23. That's Well, why don't we find out what happened after calendar call? So he, didn't have the, a day, he doesn't have a day for that yet, though. That's after the 9th of December. It's December 9th. December 9th. So we can set it for the December hearing. So what if the December hearing does, all depends on how dates line up. It's either going to be December or January. We just want to hear about your trial status. No you worries. both don't have to show up. One of you can tell us if you're sad and when you're sad. So, no yeah. worries. We want to see this through, too. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you want to see it through more than we do. You probably have the more personal and immediate connection. So what's the date of the gen or the, the, the well, that's continuance uh, reset the compliance date for twelve twelve and the fine assessment hearing date for twelve fourteen and make that a status slash fine. Okay. Twelve twelve and maintain the 12, previous twenty five a day. Okay. We're not are we doing findings of fact on these other things or are we just gonna bump it all? No, they're not even on the agenda. They're not even on the agenda. That's what it's, I thought. it's all down to the roof. That's gonna be a all right. 12, 12, 12, 14, 25, just to put a number in there, and it's a status slash fine assessment hearing. So we're kind of doing what we're doing now, just making sure that everything keeps moving along. Your stucco will look good, your house will look better, and hopefully your roof will get fixed. I'm sure it will be, sir. Okay, thank you very much. 12, 12, 12, 14, 25 is granted. Thank you. Thank you. Next is top of page two, case 22-0345, 162 Granada Street, Beverly E. and Langdon M. Fisher. I'd like to enter the following documents into evidence. Exhibit one, previous order finding violation. Exhibit two, verification ownership. Exhibit three, AS400 permit information. And exhibit four, picture. All right, you have a signed green card. You have service. Can you state your names for the record? Beverly Fisher. Langdon Fisher. Thank you. Those documents I just handed you are the exhibits that the village would like to enter into evidence. They're the um, notice documents for tonight's hearing, the previous order, finding violation, uh, verification of ownership. Do you have any objection to those documents? I beg your pardon? Do you have any objection to, to just the documents? You can speak to the magistrate once we get the documents into evidence. Any objection to those documents? No. Thank you, ma'am. You, you found service? Well, well, this, do we have objections or no? She said no. Okay, we pr please proceed. You have service with the green card. We're curious about the dates and the pictures of the same tree. It's the same. The, the first one is when they originally hot racked it. As you can still see it in the background of the picture by the green, but by the house. Hold on one second. Can we get the photographs on the screen, please? Yeah, I see it on the computer, but I don't know if it's up there. Consider correct it. I don't have it for them. Do they see it on there? Here, why don't you show him the photos in my package? Because I do have them. On theirs. Yes, it's here. Mm -hmm. yeah. But not up top. Okay. All right. So they're saying you hat rack the tree, which is kind of obvious because it's just all yeah, and then they chewed it. up. And then they, oh, I don't they know if they have a hat rack tree anymore if they cut it down. 
Right, but they, they still need the vegetation removal No, no they permit. need a vegetative removal permit now before they did not. And they did apply for it today. Okay, so, yeah, one of my least favorite ordinances of the village is the hat racking ordinance, but, you know, it's because it's, most people just don't know. I mean, I it's just, aware. Well, we need uh, our and then, they, then you have the choice of either cut down the tree or you get an arborist and you get the arborist to tell you that the tree will live, and most of them will, but... They're tough. All right, so right now we have a different problem than a hat racking problem. We have a tree removed without a permit problem, I take it. We have a new permit applied for today. Today. He has a huge, is that a mango? Yes, yes. It's affordable. I know these things. All right, so he has a monstrous mango and, and at least probably two or four other trees I can see, so he's probably going to be fine with his tree coverage in the village right. issue. So we can safely push this one off for a month and let it fall away when he gets his permit issue. So okay. the size of the tree, the mango tree is a problem? No, mango tree is beautiful. Well, Special Magistrate, the village, your, your previous order required them to comply by June 30th. Okay, so, so they're late? Yeah, they're late. They're 13 days late. We'd be asking for a fine to start running. If they get the permit issued quickly, the fine will stop. But we're asking for a three hundred and twenty-five dollar and continuing. Here, fine here's today. my problem. You got my order that said you had to get the permit yes, issued sir. by this certain date, and you didn't apply till today. Yeah, I keep going, but I keep filling in the form and just keep returning. Yeah, you were having problems with the computer. The, the trouble is, I thought yeah. the person who I I got to cut the tree down would have the permit. No, they never did. I, I didn't know I had to pull the permit before okay. with the, the tree person. That's, 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 that's weird. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's, here's the problem. If you would have applied for the permit on the right day, which would have been two weeks ago, it actually we should have been two weeks before that, but okay, I would even have said something about this. You wouldn't have had a bigger problem, but right now you've applied for it a couple of weeks late. It's still going to yes, take another exactly. week to get issued, I would assume. So they're going to end up with a fine, and I'm sort of stuck with it because you didn't apply in time. The only good news is the fine will probably stop in a week, week and it'll probably only be another 100 Yeah, I've, I've been there a couple of times, but the forms, when I fill out the forms, it's always something, always yes. after something else that is missing. So The whole thing is, I didn't know you had to have a permit to cut the tree. Yeah, no one does. It, there are all kinds of things that very few people know about. I wasn't aware of that. Okay, but I'm waiting for the conversation over there to end. Okay. Um, actually, 4222. Okay, nothing changes on from the village. Um, so here's my question. Let me look at my order. When was he supposed to deal with the hat wrecking issue? When was he supposed to deal with it? Yep. By June 30th. By June 30th. <sighs> okay, so he really dealt with it on June 2nd, or on April 2nd, right? By cutting the tree down. Well, even, even if you cut the tree down, you have to have a permit. I understand, but that's kind of like a new problem, isn't it? You had him for a hat rack violation. Of the same problem. Is it the same file slash ordinance number? Same, same code. And your your order was from the May hearing, which was right. I understand, but it's I'm just trying to figure out technically whether it's the same violation. Is it the same code citation for a hat rack? Right. As it is for a tree cut down without a vegetative removal permit. Is that the same thing? And and is that what they were cited for? Because I think they fixed the hat racking late, but they fixed it by cutting it down, which created a different problem. According to the original um, violation notice sent out in February of 21, or 22, I'm sorry, and it was um, the corrective action, please obtain vegetation removal permit. Very top line. 
remove tree or hire an arborist to remediate tree to a healthy growing condition. Well, you just said it, remove tree number or one. hire an number arborist. Number one line, obtain vegetation removal permit. Yeah, but if, if I'm looking at that right, Council, if remove tree or... And. Or, re or get a vegetative removal per or get an arborist, are those... Well, if two if different options? Yes, if they're going to keep the tree, they have to get a certified arborist to, to come in. if they're in going and to remove the tree, they've removed the tree. Now they need to get a tree removal permit post-dated. Right, but that was all part of the original violation. <laughs> the exact same code section number? Yes, 1571. Do you, you want us to pull it up on the screen? No, no, I'm just, because it seems to me I'm kind of finding them more than they need to be. Well, we, we don't have any problem with this getting eliminated. The, the issue is that they didn't well, comply timely with your previous order. Removal. 1571 is the, okay, 1570 base removal permit, mm -hmm. and it's, are you talking about 15-4, the hat wrecking ordinance? is a totally different ordinance. So, okay, they cited both of them? Both of them, yes. Okay. That's what we're saying in the original violation. Gotcha. Okay, then, then we're back to where I was. I was trying to get you out of this as best I could, but I have been stymied by the village. So all I can do now is do your fine, and it's continuing until you get your permit issued. The yes. second you get your permit issued, call Hunter to yes, stop sir. the fine. You got the permit, didn't you? No, no. You, you got a permit applied for. It has to be issued. Those are two totally different things. So it's like taking a driver's test and getting a driver's license. Okay. Um, you, you're taking the test right now. You haven't got the license yet. Okay. So the fine shouldn't be that much more when, when it's issued. So I'm sort of tied up here. I have to do it. So 325 plus continuing. The second it's issued, call up Hunter so they can stop the fine. So it won't be much more than it is now. It'll be $25 a day. They put the permit application in yesterday? Today. Today. Yesterday. So the 12th. Oh, yes. So they put it in yesterday. So hopefully they'll get it issued in a few days. Yeah, probably about a week. So, all right, check up on it. But unfortunately, I have to do the $325 fine. I'm so sorry. Much? It's 325 plus continuing. It will stop in a couple of days once the permit is issued. That time's up to that. And we'll talk about paying it later. Mm -hmm. That's a different conversation. Yep. Okay. They actually have a second case Hold on the on. agenda on uh, page four. We have four. another case. We have another case. All right. Stay where you are. What are we doing next? Pa the bottom of page four. Mr. and Mrs. Fisher. Sorry. Bottom of page four. Case 22 830 162 Granada Street, Beverly E. and Langdon M. Fisher. <laughs> Code section is 622-105.5, permit 21-2591 is expired. This violation was observed on 513-22, so now notice a violation on 514-22. It was signed for on 517-22, so now notice of hearing on 525-25, posted that to the property. I'd like to enter the following documents and evidence, Exhibit 1. Notice violation, Exhibit 2, Notice of Hearing, Affidavit of Service, Exhibit 3, Verification of Ownership, Exhibit 4, AS400 Permanent Information. Okay. You have service on this one as well? You have a signed green card. Thank you. I handed you a second document set for this case. It's the same thing. It's a notice of violation, notice of hearing, uh, the village's permit information, and verification of ownership. Do you have any objection to those documents? It's just the notice documents for tonight's hearing and proof that you own the house? Yes. Any objection? No. Thank you. Okay, on this one, you're in a violation setting, so you do have time to cure it. The problem on this one is your window installer never applied or never completed the permit by getting an inspection. Is that where we stop? Correct. So your window installer needs to renew the permit and just call in the inspection, is that right? Correct, get the final inspection. So they applied for the permit, they got the permit, 
They never called for the inspection. Oh, they got the permit, but they never called for the inspection. You think you'd be proud of your work and want to show it off to the guys. <laughs> All right, so what are the dates on this? This one we're asking for compliance by September 1st or the September 14th fine assessment hearing or $25 a day fine. 9-3-9-14? 9-1-9-14. Yes, thank you, sir. All right, so this one, you need to get a hold of your contractor. Does the yeah. contractor have to pull, pull the renewal? Yes. You need to get the contractor to renew this. It's a, how much is the charge? It's going to be 50% of the original permit fee. So you have to, you have to get your contractor, the window person, to renew the permit. It's going to cost 50% of the original fee because he did never he never called in the inspection and then as soon as it's renewed you're good but you need to have it inspected yes 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 okay so 9191425 is granted on that so you need to call up the window person yeah, get them to redo your reapply or re or extend your permit and once they get that paid for call for the inspection okay this one you may not get a fine on if you can get everyone to do what they're supposed to do, which is finish it in time, get it inspected, or get another permit and get it inspected. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We're moving back to page three, still violation hearings, case 22-0209-134, Santander Court, Brandon M. and Patricia E. Swass. What page? Uh, page three uh, near the center, one up from the center. Page three at the center. 134 Santander Court. Got it. Thank you. Code section 622-105.5, permit 211857 has expired. This violation was observed on 2322, sent out notice of violation, certified mail on 2422. It was signed for on 2922, sent out notice of hearing on 6322, and that was signed for on or that was dated on 6 6 22. I'd like to enter those following documents into evidence Exhibit 1, Notice of Violation, Exhibit 2, Notice of Hearing, USPS Tracking, Exhibit 3, Verification Ownership, Exhibit 4, AS 400 Permit Information. Okay. <coughs> Your names for the record? Patricia Swass. Thank you. Brandon Swass. Thank you. Those documents I just handed you are the exhibits that the village would like to enter into evidence? Yes. Do you have any objection to those documents? No. Thank you, ma'am. All right. So this one's a violation? Yes. Because yes, it looks like he has the permit in again. It's in for review. So they should have plenty of time to get it done by 9-1? Yep. And if they do have it, where am I? They do have it done and in, and they should be fine, right? Yep. 9-1, 9, one, nine 14 or 13? 14. 14. Okay. You, on the other hand, do have your application in. You should be able to get it out for the first. If there's any problem, it's probably going to be their fault. How so long can, does the permit take? It usually be? takes two to two to four weeks, somewhere in there, to get issued, but it should be yeah, closer to the two. Yeah, it's closer to two weeks. Okay. And, it, and if there's a problem, it's almost going to be their fault, unless it's you who haven't given them a document or something. Okay. So you can throw them under the bus well, It's later. a renewal, so as long as they put in for the renew and pay for it, it should move swiftly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did. Yeah. So, it should so be fine. yeah, once your permit is issued, you have 180 days, not six months. I'm basically. not waiting anymore. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> no, once it's, it's issued, in, I'm there. Yeah, once it's sure issued, it you just inspection. go get it inspected, and then you're good. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately for code enforcement, the building department dumps all their not done files on them to try to get them done, and that's why you get to show up here. Okay. So this was an air conditioner, right? I assume it's okay because you're not looking sweaty. So it should be all good. They just never finished it. All right, granted, 9191425, you'll get an order in the mail. Hopefully, once you get your permit issued, yeah, you okay. might as well call Hunter too. Okay. okay. It's a good hat. I don't like the team, but I like the colors. <laughs> I'm not here. I'm a Yankees fan. Uh, my last Marlins game was in 2003. It was game four of the World Series where the Marlins beat the Yankees in 12 innings. I lost my voice. It was 2.30 in the freaking morning. 
driving back from Miami, haven't been to a game again. I figure I went out on top. All right, y'all take care. You're good. You're good. You're getting an order in the mail. We're on the top of page five now, case 22-0832, 123 Finch Court, Brandon West. Code section is 622-105.5. Permit 21-2952 has expired. This violation was observed on 5-13-22. So now notice of violation, certified mail on 5-14-22. It was dated on 5-16-22. Sent out notice of hearing on 525-22. That was also dated on 531-22. Like to enter those following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing. Exhibit 3, verification ownership. Exhibit 4, A of 400, permit information. All right, you have a COVID sign, green card, so you have service. Do you have any objection to the documents, sir? Uh, these, these documents are in line with what I received. Good. And your name, no sir, objection. for the record? Brandon West. Thank you, sir. I forget to turn my phones off, too, so okay. it's all good. It's not a problem. Uh, yeah, you may want to take a walk outside and get rid of them. <laughs> all right, so this is another permit case. Yes, and he also yes, has a permit in for... Although I see it has a payment due. Pardon me? It says payment due on there, on the app? I they paid it. Yeah, I'm just trying money. to make sure everything's good and Thank that you. your information's up to date. So they're in. They'll have plenty of time. So it's just an air conditioning change out. Those are fairly simple. All right, I'm going to do to you what I've done to everyone else, which is give you until September 1st to have this done. Hopefully because your permit application has been in, the payment's been made, it should be issued in a week or two, you should be golden. All right. But you will get an order in the mail because I have to sign something. Gotcha. So, seven or nine one nine thirteen twenty five is good. Nine fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Nine fourteen. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'll get it by the end of the week. Please try to get your final inspection so it doesn't expire again. Well, as soon as the, your permit is issued, call for your inspection. I appreciate that. I definitely want to speak today, though, um, because I mean, the village there to help the people and help us keep everything, of, of course, in a line, and. In my defense, I grew up on the same street, two houses down from this home. Um, I purchased this house back in February of 21. Um, and, you know, I'm pretty sure you've been observing the work that I've been doing on the home. It was raccoon infested, et cetera. Did all of the work myself, um, but I don't know ACs. So in my defense, you know, having a, a contractor come out and not do their due diligence I mean, shouldn't necessarily be held over my head. I've had, I yeah, have multiple. The only, the only problem with that is we can't hold the contractor responsible if the contractor isn't in the village right. with assets in the village and licensed by the village. Right. And unfortunately, it, it's, it's you. You're the property owner, and the statutes, as they're contemplated by the Florida legislature, puts a responsibility on you. And unfortunately, whoever did this, mm -hmm. You know, every AC contractor in the world knows that they need to get these things permitted because it has electrical parts right. and it has plumbing parts. Right. So those are literally two different inspections. Now, the inspector may be cross-certified and get to do them at once, okay. but it isn't like putting up a playhouse. But even playhouses have to be permitted because they have to be engineered right. and attached to the ground. And these are all the wonderful things you kind of learn as a new homeowner and you get to go get yourself educated along these lines. And unfortunately, the village you know, can only do what the village does. And, and unfortunately, as you've seen from your small experience in their few minutes here, a lot of these contractors don't bother to go through the extra step that they know they need, which is to permit it. Or go to the village and say it's a no permit thing. Now, if I were a property owner being a lawyer, mm -hmm. I'm like, where's your permit? We're supposed to display this thing so that right, they can the come window. and look at it. And if you actually look at good work sites, they'll actually have a plastic container that opens up so it keeps the rain off so and staked into the ground so the inspector can come by and look at the permits on the site. Gotcha. Here's another thing you really need to do. They, being the village, will purge their records after a while. Every time you get a permit, you keep it and you keep the inspection that says you passed. 
I have every permit and inspection I have in a drawer at home. Okay. That way you're protected by saying, I had a permit. Here it is. And if they can't find it, you prove that you had it. So just a couple of things, you know, All right. things you get to learn. I mean, you, you don't realize you need to get a permit when you change out your water heater. I'm still. See? And you as a homeowner, it, it protects you to know that the job was done properly. Yeah, I, I love getting my good. AC inspected because it means that the AC guy got passed a test that right. the village gave him. Because you want to know that these things are done right. Right. You, especially if you do a roof like the other people are doing. Right. You want to make sure that they're nailed properly and done everything else so you don't have problems later. Understood. Okay. All right. All right, so I'll sign that order and who's next? Thank have you, sir. Have a good evening. All right, thank you. Now we're on page six. These are business tax receipt hearings. Case 22-0871-585-105th Avenue, North Unit 17, b, b Properties, Inc., JMT Body Shop, Inc., The code section is 161A and 16.9. The description is Village of Royal Palm Beach. Business tax receipt is expired. This violation was written on 5-19-2022, and it was signed for on 6-1-2022. Notice of hearing was mailed out on 6-22-22, and it was signed for on 6-28-22. I'd like to enter the following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, Notice of Violation. Exhibit 2, Notice of Hearing. Exhibit 3, Verification of Ownership, and Exhibit 4, AS400, Business Tax Receipt Information. Your name for the record, sir? Excuse me? Your name? O'Neill Bates. Thank you. Spell your last name for me? B-A-T-E-S. Okay, thank you, sir. Hmm. All right, Mr. Bates, do you have any objection to the documents? No, sir. All right. Admitted without objection. So tell me about it, please. Um, Mr. Bates is the property owner. The tenant, JMT Body Shop, Inc., um, is, has not renewed its business tax receipt with us. Um, that's really that's, that's, that's life. And unfortunately, because you heard my prior little speech, you're the property owner. You get tagged for all these things. Is the uh, body shop still there? It is. Uh, it seems I tried to follow through on it because I am the property owner. In the last four years, he's had a license with Royal Palm, and I guess he didn't have a state license. I came over to find out what's going on. Why can't he get a license? Royal Palm won't. And I, I'm sure Lyndon would probably tell you. I think it goes through the Department of Agriculture for some reason. Yeah, for automotive. So he's dealing with Tallahassee. And four years prior to this, it didn't take it to get through here, but it probably should have from the, what I'm finding out. So as soon as I had a conversation with him again today, and he said, I got one more check to get to Tallahassee. They'll get it back. Then he'll well, be. The good news is he will finally get it right. The bad news is he's probably going to get fined for not getting it right. The and last I spoke four years. to him as well today. He told me he was waiting on Division of Corp today, the and then would go to um, Sunbiz to update his corporation, and that then he would go to Department of Ag and they would issue that as soon as the uh, Division of State did his stuff. The only good thing about this but is it's it's not a daily fine. It's just. No, it is it's just a fine fine, so it's going to probably be around the 500 or so level. Yeah, this one's a little higher because the license fee is, is a little bit higher. The license fee is 200 plus the 200, excuse me, 25% penalty. So that's 250 plus 250 administrative costs plus an additional $250 penalty. So it's 750 payable by August 12th. Um, yeah. But it doesn't go up August if he doesn't pay it by the 12th, right? 
No, it won't go up, but that's when we actually file the lien. So if we go to the... Yeah, that's why, uh, if we're going to file an actual lien, maybe we want to give them another month so the property owner doesn't have to deal with un it. Yeah, that's fine. So that can be 9-12, September so 9 12 to get his license and everything. Yeah, I just got you another month okay, on there, so well, hopefully you won't... Yeah, because if they file a lien, you're going to have to pay to release the lien, which is yeah. going to be a couple hundred bucks there because the attorney's not free and the clerk of the court charges money to do this too. So hopefully Mr. Body Shop Guy will keep up with it. Or can I get something about what the fine is for him? It'll be, you'll get a signed order. Hopefully the we'll have them ready Friday, but more than Monday. likely it's going to be Monday. Monday, you mail it? I can mail it. Mail you, it. Normally we do. I can email it. Oh, email is even better. Yeah. I think I have Anna's email. You do? Yeah. Okay. Just put a, put a note on your file to email the, uh, the owner as well as mail it. I know. Okay. Thank you. Is it raining? I think so. It's raining, it's pouring, and you're going out in it. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. I don't know if that's a sign for buying a lottery ticket or not. I think <laughs> not. Next, uh, page 7 in the middle of the page, case 22-0917, 12012 Southern Boulevard, Southern and Crestwood Properties, LLC, 711, store number 33002A. And it's really coming down. The code section is 161A and 169. The description Village of Royal Palm Beach business tax receipts are expired. This violation was mailed certified mail 519 2022. It was signed for but not dated. The notice of hearing was mailed or mailed out on 6-22-22, and it also was signed on 6 24 2022. I would like to enter the following documents into evidence. Exhibit one notice of violation. Exhibit 2, Notice of Hearing, Exhibit 3, Verification of Ownership, and Exhibit 4, AS400, Business Tax Receipt Information. Your name for the record, sir? Stephen McCulloch. How do you spell the last name? M-C-C-U-L-L-O-C-H. Is it a V or a P-H? P-H. P-H. I ask all these good questions. Okay. All right, you have a signed green card, so you have service. Those documents, sir, that I just handed you, those are the exhibits the village would like to enter into evidence. Do you have any objection to those documents? No. Nope. Thank you. So on this, they actually have two licenses. They were written for the licenses on one violation. Um, and it's for the retail merchant location and then the auto service station. Um, and they're expired, they're two years out. Well, if you're going to be expired, be really expired. Okay, Southern Boulevard one. So we're asking on this one because we don't have the license amount for the order to just reflect the license, the business license amount plus 25% penalty plus the 250 admin plus 250 penalty payable by A12. So nice. they're not getting double penalty on two licenses, just one. Just one. Okay. And what They'll are the, have the you have a two fifty? I'm going only. from the bottom to the top. You have a two fifty, a two fifty. What's it going up? What's the what? I'm going from the bottom. The last two numbers I heard were two fifty and two fifty. Correct. Before that was the license, both the license amounts plus twenty five percent penalty on each. So it's a variable license. Correct. Or so the order will just say license plus twenty five percent and license AMT plus twenty five percent. AMT plus twenty five percent. Okay. And Lou is working with them. The case below, they did obtain the business tax receipt for that one. They just didn't get this one done in time. Um, oh, okay. Along with so a couple other. they're also here for 22 919. But that's being pulled. Yeah, but that's going to be pulled. But that's so. pulled because they got. So which, one did, which one did they get? Did they get the gas or, and not the retail or the retail and not the gas? I'm just curious. The one below, they got both. The one above, they didn't get it either. Oh. So in the current case, they didn't get either. Okay, yeah, it's two separate. That's why cases. I said there were we're only seeking the admin fee and penalty on, on one one, one license. The, one license as opposed we to the two. We wrote it as license. one case. Gotcha. Okay, so, so they're they're kind of giving you a break on the one that you're out of because they could have gone 
double. We could have written it twice. We could have written, yeah, they could have written it up twice, and you would have had an extra five hundred dollars in in penalties and costs. So, yeah, they just have to uh, come up with payments, don't they? Is that what I'm looking for? I think every everything's been paid and sent. Um, I got some email verifications from our uh, headquarters in Dallas that they had sent to Lou as well. The check should get there tomorrow. And okay. she has well, I'll, I'll give them a month to get it all together here. Right, because there's going to be the penalty on, on this one. There'll be an admin fee and a penalty. Okay. So, but, but so the yeah, you're going to have to go talk to her when you get the check in because it may be $500 short. Is that what you're saying? No, because it processes the business tax and code is separate. Okay. So, you but still they'll still have code to settle with afterwards. Okay. So, all right. So, all, all I'm dealing with, though, is the, in 22-917 is the prior year failure to do this. Right. They were due September 30th of 2021. So, there are more than 150 days delinquent. So, it's, it's not yes, a compliance it's deadline. It's just so, I'm dealing with 2021 on this open case. And they've already done their 2022-ish thing, or is no. the second one just different? No. Okay. We only wrote one year, one license. All right, 2021. But so they you've can't dismissed renew. the other year, the other license. Yeah, they can't renew 22 till they get 21. Gotcha. And 23s are going out now. I know. I just And Lou's been in contact with them about that. Okay. Well... All right, so this is going to West Palm Beach. It's not going to 7-Eleven mail room somewhere. So. All right, you'll get an order in the mail that says that the penalty is the license amount plus 25% plus the $250 admin cost and the $250 penalty. Right. Well, actually, it goes to Southern and Crestwood Properties, right, but we will email an order to the licensee person that Lou's been working with. If you would like a copy, if you have a business card, I'll be happy to email you a copy as well. Okay. 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 Granted. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And if you have a business card, hand it over now, or you can contact her later. I do that. You That's do all right. Not. I can. Okay. Call Linda Walker later and tell her who you are and what your email is, and she'll yeah. give you a copy. I'll write my email down. Next, we're going to find mitigation hearings. The first one is 19-1730, 155 South State Road 7, 309, 315, 11th Street, LLC. Okay. <clears throat> Good evening, sir. Your name, please? Denise O'Grady. And what is your relation to the property? Property manager to the owner of the property. All right, property manager. All right, as I said in my introductory speech, which everyone probably has forgotten already, this is the part of our program where it flips. You are the petitioner asking for a reduction, so you can tell us why it should be reduced, and then the village will respond with the if response. We could, before she does that, if we could have uh, the exhibits put into the record. The exhibits into yes, the record, please you. go ahead. I would like to enter the following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, the fine mitigation request with the agent authorization from the owner to Denise O'Grady to represent them. Exhibit 2, the order assessing fine. And Exhibit 3, verification of ownership. Okay. What is the amount of the fine? The fine amount is $17,125. All right, Ms. O'Grady, why should the fine be reduced? Well, I originally want to state that I was going to have a witness who uh, did a material portion of the landscaping, but he indicated that because he does work for the city, it's met with Palm Beach landscaping, Palm Beach tree and landscape, that he could not appear because it would be a conflict of interest. But I just wanted to state that for the record. That's okay. Just because I just went through a seminar today about conflict of interest. That's not, but okay. But uh, anyway, we got the uh, first notice on January 2020. And then I missed the magistrate. I was unaware that there was a hearing to address the code violation. Since that time, we've spent a total of 52000 
to address the thought, to address the code. The issue, in, from my perspective, is that we, the original code, the scope of the code violation, was on the north end of the property. The property is approximately 3.2 acres, and there's a lot of linear width along State Road 7 versus it's not a deep property. So, you know, I thought we, when it came out to have an inspection, Linda indicated that there were other areas that needed to be addressed. So, you know, we began to address them, and then I called for another inspection, and it still wasn't complete. So then I decided to hire Matt from Palm Beach Tree and Landscape, who's a certified arborist. So he starts to do the work, and then he realized that some of the plants that were originally on the original site plan were not thriving because of the climate. So he had to file a modified site plan and go through the whole process. And then there was a glitch. He had to resubmit the plan, but he finally got the work done. And so uh, Linda, or whoever, Linda's been very cooperative. Linda uh, sent somebody out to do a site inspection, and they said everything was complete per the original modified site plan. And that was in February. I would have been here sooner, but I had suddenly I had to have major surgery in Boston. In fact, last month I would have been here, but I couldn't. I had no voice. So here I am uh, appealing that seventeen thousand dollar fine. We've acted in good faith. Um, so that's you know, like I said, I would have had a witness here that would have attested to what I'm saying, but there's a conflict. No, oh, well, there's an alleged conflict there. All right, and what do you do? You have an amount of proposed fine. I didn't come with the number. You know, I'm. I'd like to hear what Linda has in mind. Whoever makes the decision. Okay. Well, they'll they'll tell you in just a second. So. Yeah, we're, we're not imposing a reduction. Um, we would be amenable to reducing it to four thousand one hundred sixty-five dollars and thirty-six cents, payable by um, ninety days. Is ten thirteen. I don't. But I just want to make sure I heard the correct amount. Four thousand. Four thousand six five point something, and I didn't get the point. Four one six five point three six. That's acceptable. I appreciate it. Four one by when? By uh, October thirteenth is ninety days. Nine thirteen. October ten thirteen. Sorry, I'll get closer. Can I just send a check, or do we need a certified check? Um, you can just send a check but you're going to have to wait until I sign the orders, and okay. I don't sign the orders until Monday. That's fine. It's not a big big time delay. Sometimes it's Friday, sometimes it's Monday. It all depends on It'll be Monday. how everyone's It'll be Monday this working. week. <laughs> is, uh, I've been told it's going to be Monday, so good. I don't have to worry about hearing from you on Fridays. So, all right, 4, 000, the fine amount of 17125 is reduced to $4,165.36, payable by October 13th, or it will revert back to the original amount. Thank you. Okay, and you get an order in the mail, or someone will get an order in the mail. Yeah, and uh, if you could just send it to my email, too. I know you'll send it to the property owner, just so I'm aware. I'm going to make a note. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Next, top of page 8, 17-0548-10075, Mikado Lane, Raina Rivera. Can she stay there? She can stay there. Well, I guess. Taking things back and uh, there's one over here, but this is southern. Oh, it's yours too. Okay. All right. And this one. Hi, Dana Foley, code officer for the village of Royal Palm Beach. We would like to enter the following into evidence. Exhibit one, fine mitigation request. Exhibit two, order assessing fine. Exhibit three, verification of ownership. Exhibit four, affidavit of compliance. And the fine amount in this one, sir, is $17,600. Well, um... All right. Now, you have to tell us who you are, then you can tell us stuff. Yes, I'm Reina Rivera. I'm her daughter. And... Uh, we're looking to negotiate a payoff of the lien. Um, we are under a contract uh, to sell the property since she, since she cannot leave anymore by herself. 
Uh, she's an elder person, so that's why we're here. November of 17. Okay, so the $100 a day is what you ended up. Yeah. Because it's still, I, I looked at the, the order, it's May of 17, and the affidavit compliance is November of 17. So It was a higher fine because, the, the, yeah, it was a higher fine because someone was staying in the shed. There was, a, there was somebody living in the shed, right? All right. Um, so you just want to the see idea, what they no, want? No, the idea is to, to uh, we want to have the payoff in order to, Yes, we're having uh, the property under the contract to sell the property by August 2nd. And uh, the idea is to have it uh, negotiate the payoff of the lien uh, a little bit less since uh, she cannot live by herself anymore and she will be needing the money in order to have a better quality of life. Okay, so you're actually wanting to know what they say, basically. Yeah. yeah what well, what, what's, the status, is, what's the status of the foreclosure? Excuse me? Foreclosure? No, it's not anymore under foreclosure because we pay off the insurance company. Okay. So the village would, would not oppose reduction. Um, our number would be $4,234.70, payable by 10-13. By, by when? By October 13th. It's 4234.70. Okay. Great. And I have here another issue because she received, I don't know if you have this or do I have to make another case, because she received this because she fainted and she went through the garage, and I received this that she had to fix the garage. And uh, she fixed it out, but since she sold her, she did not request the permit, she just changed the garage door. So I don't know how those elder people, I don't live here in this country. I'm her daughter, but I don't live here. I don't know how she, an elder person, goes online and requests all this, you know, because she just hires somebody when she received the payoff of the insurance for changing the garage door. She changed the garage door, but she didn't uh, ask for the permit. And I was reading here that she needed a permit. Of and course she, she just, does, because the, that's a separate, the garage door. Right? You can door call me tomorrow. I can can I call you tomorrow? Yes. Is so that a case What's yet? your name? I'll, I'll help you. In the oh, house. okay, great. Okay, let's, yeah, we're dealing with one at a time. Okay, so $4,234.70 payable by 1013 will be the reduction from the 17006 And you all will deal with the other issues at a different time. Brandon. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. All right, next. Next is 18-1193-10793 Dalmani Way, Danielza Villalona. We would like to enter the following into evidence. Exhibit 1, fine mitigation request. Exhibit 2, order assessing fine. Exhibit 3, verification of ownership. And Exhibit 4, affidavit of compliance. And the fine amount in this one, sir, is $19,225. Right. Your name for the record, ma'am? Uh, good evening. My name is Danelsa Vallelona. Thank you. Okay. Same question for everyone. Why should it be reduced? Um, when I spoke to Ms. Foley, uh, she stated that uh, it was a certified letter sent to my house. I asked her who signed for it, and there was no signature. Um, I was not aware I had a lien until October 2020 when I received the letter stating, hey, you have a tw almost $20,000 lien. Um, and my thing is, I didn't receive a letter or anything telling me, if you don't pay this by this time, it will turn into a lien. That was my first concern. My second concern is that the trash can, the trash can was visible from the streets. That's the complaint, but it was behind my fence. I have a wire fence, and I have a picture here that I can show you. Is that okay? Sure. You can show her first because that's our courtroom. But. You can show it to him. I don't have any objection. I just would caution us to be relitigating the original violation. Yeah, it's a yeah, okay. So I don't know that that qualifies as a screen. Usually there's, I don't know. 
But does it or no? No, she has the photo. That's not the same photo. That, that the photos that she has are you. You looked at all those when you found yeah, violation the first it's all time. Good. I mean, people want to okay. talk. So I don't mind them talking. All right. So. And there was other also another issue, right? There was a sidewalk stain as well. Dina. Yes. That was not even for my house, ma'am. I spoke to Dina about that. That was violation two one seven seven two. With when I spoke to her, she uh, told me that she was speaking to a male individual. And I told her, I'm sorry, I do not have a male living in this home. Who are you speaking to? At that time, she determined that that violation was not for my house. It was for 10723. No, this is 10793 Dalmany, right here. That was, that violation, are you speaking of the violation in 2015 when I first bought the house? Yeah, I these had, are 2018. Yeah. It was 2018 violation. This for one. the sidewalk? I, for, for the garbage can and photos, sidewalk. So, uh, you know, there's photos. I'm not aware. Maybe can I see some the, the, I would, I would object to relitigating what, what's already been found. There's That's, already been an okay. appeal. It's okay. Show me the photo. Okay. okay. I can't see. Are you showing me the no, photos? No, they're going to show you oh. the photos out of the yeah. file. And I saw these photos in 2018 or whatever it was. So that there was an issue there. We're pretty good about getting the right house. Is that it? This one? But was that on a day where I only leave my trash can there when there is, the, the, on Wednesdays or Saturdays, when people come and pick up the trash? Okay. okay the dates on the picture or the dates just on the to, picture? Just to let you know, though, even behind this fence, it is not screened from public view, so that would not be in compliance. Yeah, I mean. Okay, I'm just letting you know that it that you can't have like that. Yeah, okay. it's the, the 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 screening thing is usually lattice, or some people put this stuff that weaves through their fence that kind of screens it. You know, right now you're just putting it behind an open chain link fence. I mean, mine's behind a shadow box fence. You really well, now can't see. I put it in it. my backyard. Well, that's fine, it, but in 2018 you were putting it in the front yard. I so, yes. You know, it's, and then there. Other things. I, I don't mind letting people talk just so you can see what they said. Mm -hmm. You know, there's sidewalk pictures, there's garbage can pictures, there's a problem. And here becomes the real thing. The people before you, they're selling the house, they're going to have some money. The people before that, selling the house, they're going to have some money. Are you selling the house? No. You're going to have some money? No, because we're looking at a $19,000 fine. I'll bet you that the number from the village is around five or 6000 Am I guessing around the right area? Well, yeah, four thousand six hundred seventy-three dollars and forty-eight. If you don't pay that amount within the time I'm asking, you can't get a reduction again. So unless you have the ability to do that, or you're selling it, or you're getting some money to do something, or you have a reasonable amount you can propose to me, you may want to withdraw this and come back later when you have a couple grand to say, can I get out of this problem? Because right now I'm going to lean towards the village because of the proofs that they've shown me again. Yes. And I'm going to give a reduction in the four or $5,000 range, and you're not going to be able to pay it, and then you're going to lose your ability to do this. And you may want to save that ability. Okay. And what I'm trying to do is stop you for right now because you don't want to get a reduction for to $4,000, not be able to pay it, and then want to sell your house in a couple of years. They can't, if this is your homestead property, foreclose on it. It just sits there. Okay? So would you like to withdraw this right now? And, and, and you can come back. The, the fine amount's not going to go up any higher. You've already been found in compliance, so it's all taken care of. But unless you have some money right now, this is, this is not a good time for it. I'm trying to help you out. Okay. I guess so, I'll withdraw. So you withdraw. You can come back at any time. If you're going to sell the house, that's a good time, like these people before you did, because they're going to have some money from it. Or if you get some money in and you can come up with something more than, I didn't get notice, because we go through this, and I have to give notice for the fine assessment and the, and the violation hearing. So I understand. I I'm okay. just upset because I never received a notice. Trust me, I would pay a $50, 60 $100 fee, violation fee, and not let it go into a lien, a $20,000 no. lien. 
it shouldn't be a twenty thousand dollar lien on garbage can in the mean, sidewalk. It's so yeah, that's just it just got let for too long. So she's withdrawing the application. We'll just go to the next case. So that means I can come back. You can come back at any time when, when I you, have when you have something. Okay. Because right now all I'm gonna give you is a piece of paper that you're not gonna be able to comply with and it's gonna make you worse because you can't come back again. Understood. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Next case is 22-0033-181 Sandpiper Avenue, Akira and Bernard Bain. Mike Tanner is following documents and evidence. Exhibit 1, letter requesting fine mitigation. Exhibit 2, previous order assessing fine. Exhibit 3, verification ownership. Exhibit 4, affidavit of compliance. Okay. Well, this can't be a lot because it's still 20. Well, I take it back. 2023. That's a long time. Okay, you did it in 2022. May, June. Oh, so it's not going to be a lot. Good. The fine amount is uh, 1250. 1250. Yes, sir. All right. And your name is? Akira Bain. And Ms. Bain, why should the fine be reduced? Um, basically, um, when I first did the change of contractor, I paid for the fee. And I know Hunter did send me back the email, let me know I can now apply for the permit. I sent in the permit, the extension, but I didn't realize that I needed to pay for the permit as well. I thought when I paid for the, the fee for the change of contractor, that was the only fee that I needed to pay. So I was just waiting to get something back. And I think Hunter did call my dad, but I don't think he was aware of he didn't really understand what she was saying. So the message didn't get relayed to me until they came out to inspect, and that's when I paid their permit fee. So okay. I wasn't aware of it. And since today, the solar panels have been removed. So I was just waiting until I came today. I can show you the pictures. They have been removed. So now you're going to you're going to want to close that permit now. Okay. Now that they've been removed. So is that something I have to go online and do? So almost just like how you did the request to extend the permit, uh -huh. you're just going to do a request to close the permit now. And there's no fee associated with that? There is a $75 fee to close the permit out. But and then so she's not going to have the panels put back up. No. You're not doing anything further. No. Okay. So yeah, you'll just you'll pay the seventy five dollars, and then that will go in to be approved. And once that's approved, then it'll be that permit will be closed out. Okay. We were originally going to ask for uh, or or be accepting of a reduction to a little bit over a thousand dollars, but she's had to pay for a change of contractor, so we're willing to reduce it to our costs, which are three ninety six point two five. Okay. They they still have to pay to take it off, so. Mm -hmm. I will reduce it to their cost of three hundred what ninety six three hundred ninety six dollars and twenty five cents payable by October thirteenth. Three ninety six point what two six? Yes, uh, three ninety six point two five by October thirteenth. Okay, and that's basically the cost of the attorney and the. Mm -hmm. the Understand. And you also have to pay that seventy five dollar fee to get your to permit close out. closed out, so you'll be out of village trouble. Okay. Okay. Granted. Thank you. Thank you. Next is 19-1258-158 Sunflower Circle, Jenna M. Gordon and Justin R. Matatal. Like to enter the following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, letter request and fine mitigation. Exhibit 2, order assessment fine. Exhibit 3, verification ownership. Exhibit 4, affidavit of compliance. Your name for the record, ma'am? Jenna Matatal. Thank you. And special magistrate, the fine amount in this one is $23,175. All right. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so why should the fine be reduced? 
many reasons. Um, so I was aware that the first letter was sent, I guess, in 2019, um, that I was newly pregnant and newly married, and I gave it to my husband, and he said, okay, no problem, I'll take care of it. And I was pregnant, and then had a baby, and I worked at the hospital, and I thought it got taken care of. Um, come to find out when we went to go sell our house, which is currently under contract, we had a lien for the amount that Hunter just stated, and I had no idea. Um, <laughs> so within finding it, I literally fixed it within like a week's time by myself without my uh, soon-to-be ex-husband, and he's not even here today. Um, I'm basically trying to start over and move away <laughs> um, with my small child that was running crazy earlier. <laughs> I heard him. He was all well outside. Yep. <laughs> Um, so I understand that I need to pay something, but I just, I can't afford to pay it out of the money that I will be getting from this house for my side, um, because then I won't be able to live. So I, I understand that I have to pay some money, but I can't pay the $23,000. Um, I well, got it done as soon as I knew it was actually a problem. I apologize that it wasn't fixed sooner. Okay. So do you have any amount you are proposing? Um, whatever the village says is acceptable, I will try to... Come up with. All right, let's see what the village says. We again are not opposing reduction. We uh, request it to be reduced to five thousand four hundred and sixty-seven dollars and twenty-six cents, payable by ten thirteen. Okay, that's fine. I can do that. Um, I do heard that you said that you're not signing your papers till Monday. I close on Friday, though. Um, is that going to be an issue now? If they don't sign it till Monday. All right, we are going to do this at five thousand. Yes, please. By ten twenty. Three, and someone's 10, going. Ten thirteen or twenty three. Ten thirteen. Okay. Uh, by ten thirteen, and can someone email the people's closing agents to tell them what it will be? Mm -hmm. uh, they will have something really on record it. from the village. I really because I'm it. not I signing things till Monday. Yeah. And they can't even accept me, it till Monday. I'm going to give you my card so you can send me an email and then I'll be able to email them back. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay. And I have girls. They're a lot quieter until they get older. And then, He's never been quiet. And ever. Then, then it's not a thing. He, he probably will get quieter later and Thank it'll you. be good. Thank you. All right. Take care. Next is, uh, the next two are the same address, so I'll call them together. The first case is 19-0087, 121 Raven Court, Mergeline F. Edwards. The second case is 21-0814, 121 Raven Court, Mergeline F. Edwards. Like then, the following documents and Devin. Could we stop for one second? Excuse this gentleman me. has showed up a little later, and you may want to find out who he is and what his case is so we can get to him. I still have to swear him in, but that's okay. just for an aside. Like All right, let's go back to the Edwards case, please. Following documents and evidence. Exhibit 1, letter requesting fine mitigation request. Um, exhibit 2, both previous order assessing fine. Exhibit 3, both verification ownership. And Exhibit 4, both affidavit of compliances. Okay, I assume these are going to be 19, 22, 3 years. So the first case, 19-0087, the fine amount is $24,850. And the second case, 21-0814, the fine amount is $2,125. Oh, well, at least one small. All right, sir, what's your name? My name is Ainsley Johnson. Okay, I see it here. And you're the personal representative for the estate? I, 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 for the time being, sir, I'm, I'm the executor for the time being. Yeah. I'm doing one myself. It's no fun at all. All right, you want to show me something? Yes, you sir. have to show it to her first. She's thinking greatly while well, she's doing that. Can you raise your right hand? You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Okay, I've sworn them in. They yell at me when I forget to do that. All right.
know what? Thank you very much. This is very good. It kind of sets it all up for me in a nice, clean, concise way. The, the one question I could, if I ask from the special magistrate, is um, what's the status of the foreclosure? That it'll be resolved sometime in August? Yeah, in August. I, I've got a date yet from him in okay. there. I, I have two attorneys. Okay. So one for bid and one for the um, foreclosure. Okay. <coughs> All right. So what do you think the fine should be reduced to? Document says it's all there, and I'm I'm, I'm waiting for you to use it your discretion. Okay, he's pleading at my discretion. What's the village saying? <coughs> In the first case, we would be amenable to reducing to five thousand seven hundred dollars and seventy six cents by October thirteenth, and in the second case, one thousand two hundred and twenty two dollars and ten cents payable by October thirteenth. All right, is the property going to be sold? Do you have any money from the estate to deal with this issue? Well, I'm, but, um, I'm waiting on the. The house to be sold, and then from there we Thank can you. move on. Right, but we're we're in. A, do we have a sales date? Do you have anything? Well, my realtor is she's the one who's responsible to um the good necessary transaction and so on. Right, no, I'm saying, is there a closing date? Do you have a contract on the property? I I heard something about foreclosure. I'm just trying to make sure it's, that it's, everything we're doing is lining up. Yeah, but it's matter for the court. It's, it's matter for the court as, as we speak. And um, so we have two attorneys, one for the foreclosure and one for the, uh, one for the, uh, for the probate. Okay. Do you, my next question really is, do you have any money in the estate that you can spend to take these out? No, not, not, no, not no, sir. So this would have to be done at a closing sometime? He, he, he'll, he would have to do it within your 90-day window if you reduce but these. If he had, I'm doing my father's estate. Massive pain, but he had liquid assets. So fortunately for me, I've been able to pay all the property taxes and everything else out of his assets. And I know exactly how much he has in whatever account. And I can tell you and I can tell you what I could use to take care of one of these problems if I had one of these problems. But what he's telling me is now you don't have any money in the estate to take care of this right now. You don't have a pending sale date. And I don't want to reduce it without something pending so you can make this a good exercise of your time and your energy rather than just kill yourself and not be able to reduce it when you're going to do this in August if we have a order that's July or something. That's my problem here. It has nothing to do well, with Well, there must reduction. be a reason that he's here tonight requesting a reduction. So, Mike, Because he's trying to figure out how much it is, right? Why are you trying to reduce the prop? The amount because you know it's there, right? Under the circumstances, as, as I states there, because my mom bought the property and she didn't know all these things there. And right, and that's why I'm taking all that into yes. account. But see, what I'm trying to tell you is you've been here for, for these others. And the people who are selling their property, they have a sales date. So they're going to have money yes. to pay this. Yeah. You don't have a sales date, so you don't have the money. You don't have money in the estate right now to pay it off. No, no. So you may be like Miss Villa Lona, Villa Lona, mm -hmm. where I would reduce it, but it would not be the smartest thing because if you don't have the money to pay it off, that means you can't get it reduced again. You probably want to withdraw this until you have a sales date or until you have some money that you can offer so I can get rid of it because right now the village wants six or seven thousand dollars approximately and I might reduce that some more too but you have no money and you don't have any money coming in so why don't we just pull this for right now until you do get it remember to bring this back to me and then we'll have at least a conversation that'll good do you some good because right now I'm gonna sign a paper that's gonna screw you over and you don't want that, and I don't want that, and they don't want that either. I mean, they're looking at it going, no, no, don't do this. So we're going to withdraw. You're going to say, I withdraw it. Say that. Say, I withdraw it. He's withdrawn his application. Understood. We'll hear it at a later date. 
Hopefully you'll either have a sales date or a couple thousand dollars you can get together from the estate, from whatever, and then we can have a better conversation. Okay, sir. Okay? Thank Withdrawn, you. please. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now we're moving back to uh, violation hearings on page 3, middle of the page, case 22-0632-209, Las Palmas Street, Leonardo F. Molina and Alexandra N. Naranjo. Uh, papers. Code session. Oh, code right in there. I can't even talk. Code, code section. section. Code section 622-108.4, installed pavers without a permit. I observed this violation on 4-12-22. The now knows the violation on 4-13-22. It was dated 4-28-22 delivery. The now notice of hearing on 5-19-22. It was signed for on 5-21-22. I'd like to enter those following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing. Exhibit 3, verification ownership. Exhibit 4, pictures. And Exhibit 5, affidavit of compliance. I don't have the affidavit of compliance, but that'd be nice. No, it's fine. So he's all good? Is that a finding of fact? No. No. Because I saw the AS400 with the 622 date on it, or something, PS. I think you said affidavit of compliance. Oh. I didn't mean that. I mean AS400 permanent information. Well, then I'm sorry. I have that. <laughs> All right, so there's a PS6. PS is solar. Okay, PS is solar. So that's the only thing in 2022. Everything else is oldish. Yeah. The roof is 20. So. What's your name, sir? Leonardo Molina. All right, Ms. Molina. Um, unfortunately, you need to get a survey and a permit to do pavers in the village. Yes, got they, the survey. Yeah, they have this thing called impervious surface calculations. They want to make sure that the lovely rain that just fell down earlier will make it into the groundwater and that you do not have too much lot coverage. You probably are fine and dandy with this because it looks like a single family La Mancha lot. I live out there, about a quarter acre-ish. You probably have plenty of room. You have your survey done already? Yep, I got the survey. I started... Um I was doing this because we were gonna. I got married. We were gonna do the ceremony there, but the weather was bad. We moved into a different place, and then we just did this. Yeah, it's fine. It's so, yeah, it's a home improvement. Life is good. So I started the permit on Monday. Yeah. Well, no, you're gonna get till they're gonna give you till nine one nine fourteen, right? Yes, right. nine one nine fourteen or twenty five dollars a day. So hopefully, the hardest part is the survey, because. 90% of the people out there, surveyors right now, we're just trying to run around like, you know, crazy just to get all these house closings done. So you couldn't hire one. So you've got the hardest, got the you've, you've got, you've got the 90%, you got the hardest part done. All you have to do is get through the permitting process. Once your permit is issued, you're fine. You're out of code enforcement. Once you get your permit issued though, if it, the job's already done, the second thing you do after you pick it up and smile is you call for an inspection. Okay. Once you get that final inspection, you're golden. But as I told the gentleman who was here earlier, I don't know if you're in the room or not, <coughs> keep your permits and your inspections somewhere in a drawer in your house. Yeah, right. that, that way, in case the village, you know, does this record cleaning stuff and, and your stuff is lost, you'll have proof. And that's all. So... Nine one nine fourteen twenty five, which means if you're done before September first, correct, you are good. Okay, I Once do have you, one question. sure. Um, so I got the survey done. Obviously, the surveyor did the new survey with the job completed. It was so perfect. Is, is that okay? No, it's perfect because you will. He would have had a proposed area mm -hmm. that would have been proposed pavers, mm -hmm. and would have had area calculations. I what believe. they're dealing with now is actual calculations, which are a thousand times better right. because you can't cheat and you can't lie. But I believe he'll have to mark on the survey that that's what he's permitting. Yeah, you'll just want to mark a circle around the pavers or something showing that that's what you're doing. Okay, and yeah. another question. I'm new to the whole computer permitting, so there's like uh, plans and all that. I mean, can, am I okay using my survey and just drawing things on there, send it as the... That's all you need. Design plan. That's all you need is the survey. 
of showing the papers. Okay. Yeah, she's your best friend now. Her name's Hunter. You love her. Okay? <laughs> she's going to help you out. She's going to answer your phone calls. She's going to tell you what screen you have to use. Yeah, she, if you have she's any questions, your you can buddy. call the building department. Just call the building department. Mm -hmm. Yep. And she's one of the people who will answer the phones for the building department. Okay. She's your buddy. Okay? So she'll keep keep you straightened out and keep keep you moving. Yeah, a lot of these things, if you're going to build a playhouse for your eventual kids after your, your marriage, you know, she would say you need engineering drawings, that kind of stuff. But pavers, fortunately, are on the ground. Yeah, and they do not need drawings because they are not engineered. They are, actually, but you won't care. <laughs> they, they take stress tests. They have to know when they break. Yeah, they do. But they don't care. They, they so think we'll you buy it from Home Depot, and Home Depot is not. Okay. You. You'll get an order in the mail. Congratulations on your nuptials. Do you want to do it now? Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, do we have any more live people? Okay. We're going to take a two or three minute break. So I can stretch my legs on my way to the bathroom and come back.
restricted trailer. Back to page one, fine assessment hearings, case 22-0089, 145 Granada Street, Kristen L. Dunn. Like tender of those following documents into evidence, Exhibit 1, previous order, find in violation, Exhibit 2, verification ownership, Exhibit 3, pictures. Well, Kristen needs to go to signature school, but she did scroll on her green card, so you do have service. This one's been out of compliance for 13 days. We're asking for a fine of 325 and continuing. And she even has a sense she could put the fine. 325 plus continuing is granted. Thank, Thank you. you. 22-0173, 215 Bilbao Street, Boris E. and Ivan Lopez. Like to enter the following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, previous order, find in violation, affidavit of service. Exhibit 2, verification of ownership. Exhibit 3, picture. Exhibit 4, AS 400, permit information. Thank you. All right, you have service via posting. This one, again, has been out for 13 days, so 325 and continuing. I just have to look at the pretty pictures. Trying to hide the fence with the Mercedes? <laughs> the fence and the structure on the right side of the home. Oh, well. <laughs> so yeah, the, the red structure back. is what you're talking about. The reddish looking thing. Well, you know, red and gray go together. Right here. It's all fine. Yeah. yeah. I can see my mouse or not. All right, so what do you want? 325 plus continuing? Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. 22-0319, 151 Cordoba Circle, Lou E. and Willie Bryant Sr. Like then are those following documents into evidence. Exhibit one, previous order, find in violation, uh, affidavit of service. There's no pictures, no pictures on this one. Thank you. Permit. Exhibit two, verification ownership. Exhibit three, AS 400 permit information. And exhibit four, affidavit of compliance. Is this a no fine? That's no, this one, yeah, it's been out for five days. So 125 and not continuing. 20, excuse me, 125, no continuing. Thank you. Thank you. Granted, you had service be public or posting. 22-0359-10641, Aquarius Lane, Giselle and Kenneth Nunez. Like 10 are those following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, previous order, find in violation. Exhibit 2, verification ownership. Exhibit 3, AS 400 permit information. So on this one, the postmaster put C19, which I'm totally familiar with. But it looks like he put the guy's initials, too which is like way above and beyond. Yeah. So you do have service and... Again, this one's 13 days, so 325 and continuing. Have they cleaned out their drawers yet in the building department? Because I've had like three meetings that have been primarily building permits. <laughs> we have to get them all taken care of. Yep, okay, granted. Thank you. 22-0322-11151, Southern Boulevard, number 100, IVT, Southern World, Palm Beach, 1031, LLC. That sounds like a Linda. It is. Just give us one second. She's busy talking. We'll give her a second. You gonna cuff him next? He's got his arms up over his head. <laughs> They look like they're having more fun than we are. Makes me mad. A little left out for me. So, Mitty, did you have to do the ethics thing too? I did not. No. You, you did not, or you do not have to? I, well, I, I do not have to. Oh? Huh? No. Is it not? Not that one. Not that one? It doesn't do magistrates though? Yeah, but I, I don't, I didn't do that one today. I've done the online ones. Yeah, I'll see if I get credit for it. But yeah. they also let you apply to the bar for credit. Yeah. So I printed that out. I've got yeah. like eight hours left of my thirty-three hours, and I've got two months. And I'll bang that out like easy. It's just you buy these CLE packages that have nothing to do with anything you practice. So I've learned all about criminal mitigation for the crazy. And, God, all these other esoteric topics that I'll never deal with. That you don't practice, yeah. But I, I get credit. Yeah, it's good. so silly. All right, so 22-322.
Um, I would like to enter the following documents into evidence. Order notice of hearing for a fine assessment hearing. The order finding violation is Exhibit 2, Exhibit 3, verification of ownership, and Exhibit 4, permit information. Services by? Gotcha. We have service because we have a tracking from firm. This one's been out of compliance for 46 days, so we're asking for a fine of $1,150 and continuing. 1150 plus continuing is granted. Yes, sir. Thank you. Next is violation hearings 22 0169 773 Orchard Drive. Leah L. Sanchez and Victor S. Sanchez Jr. I like the art on the back. Right. Violation hearing. This one? Okay, well, we're going to pull 22-0169. All right. Wrong, wrong month. Thank you. 22-0619-162 Cypress Trace, Stephanie Cox, and Jason L. A. Shepard. We would like to enter the follow. Oh, excuse me. The code section is 622-105.5, permit 05. 2475 expired. Uh, this was written on 4822. The notice of violation was mailed out 41322 and was signed for on 41522. The notice of hearing was mailed out 5322 and was posted. We would like to enter the following into evidence Exhibit 1, notice of violation, Exhibit 2, notice of hearing, Exhibit 3, verification of ownership, and Exhibit 4, permit information. I'm sort of confused on the AS400. It's like requested to administratively close and paid the fee, but it was denied. That was back in um, 2021. Yeah, I don't have a copy of normally, I've been told, oh, yeah, you got to pay it to close it and you got to pay the fee. Okay. Okay. So get a final inspection of what he needs to fix this one. All right, so these are dates, I guess. Yeah, this one's dates. We're asking for compliance by September 1st or the September 14th fine hearing or $25 a day fine. Granted. Thank you. 22-0716, 1039, excuse me, 10329, Showboat Lane, Brian and Susan Hearn. Code section 622-105.5, permit 180721 expired. This was written on 42122. The notice of violation was mailed out 42222 and was signed for on 42522. The notice of hearing was mailed out 5322 and was signed for on 51022. We'd like to enter the following into evidence. Exhibit 1, Notice of Violation. Exhibit 2, Notice of Hearing. Exhibit 3, Verification of Ownership. Exhibit 4, Permit Information. Exhibit 5, Affidavit of Compliance. Same postal guy, too. Mm -hmm. Including his initials and the code. So I like that. Mm -hmm. Affidavit of Compliance means a finding of fact? Yes, sir. Granted. Thank you. 22-0718, 1204 Chorus Way, Grace Gordon. I have the Flash Gordon music. Code section 622105.5, permit 192727 expired. This was written on 42122. The notice of violation was mailed out 42222 and was signed form 42622. The notice of hearing was mailed out 5322 and was signed form 51022. We would like to enter the following into evidence Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing. Exhibit 3, verification of ownership. Exhibit 4, permit information. Exhibit 5, affidavit of compliance. All right, another finding of fact? Yes, sir. Got their permit extended, how nice. 22 and Grace signed with the Sharpie, too. 22-0719-10201, Penzance Lane, Aralis M. and Luis E. Besterio. Code section 622-105.5, permit 192780 expired. This was written on 42122. The notice of violation was sent out certified mail on 422-22 and was signed for on 426-22. The notice of hearing was mailed out 5322 and was signed for on 510-22.
We would like to enter the following into evidence. Exhibit 1, Notice of Violation. Exhibit 2, Notice of Hearing. Exhibit 3, Verification of Ownership. And Exhibit 4, Permit Information. Okay, so we have a signed green card. So we have service. This one we're asking for compliance by September 1st or the September 14th fine assessment hearing or $25 a day fine. Granted. Thank you. Thank you. 22 0817 367 River Bluff Lane, Magdalena Arsovska and Alexi G. Glatsko. Code, Glatsko. Section, Sorry. Code section 622 105.5, permit 21 2660 expired. This was written on 513 22. The notice of violation was mailed out certified mail 514 22 and was signed for on 515 22. The notice of hearing was sent out certified mail 525. 22 and was signed for on 52622. We'd like to enter the following into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing. Exhibit 3, verification of ownership. Exhibit 4, permit information. Exhibit 5, affidavit of compliance. Another finding of that? Yes, sir. Granted. Thank you. 22-0818-10432, Oliver Lane. Sonsuk, Garyapo. Code section 622-105.5, permit 21-2911 expired. This was written on 513-22. The notice of violation was mailed out certified mail 514-22 and was signed for 51622. The notice of hearing was mailed out 525-22 and was signed for on 526-22. We would like to enter the following into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing. Exhibit 3, verification of ownership. Exhibit 4, permit information. All right, signed green card is full service. This is COVID and signed. This one we're asking for compliance by September 1st again or the September 14th fine hearing or $25 a day fine. Granted. Thank you. Thank you. 22-0672-143 here in Parkway. Diego E. Juan Pichardo. Code section 622-105.59-1. Permit 20-2647 has expired. I wrote this violation on 418-22. Sent out a notice of violation certified mail on 420-22. Posted that to the property. So now notice hearing on, I don't have that information right there, for sorry. Send it out on July 13, 2022. Oh, no. June 16, 22. It was fine for on 618-22. I'd like to know the following documents and to evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation, affidavit of service. Exhibit 2, Notice of Hearing. Exhibit 3, Verification Ownership. Exhibit 4, Pictures. I don't have the picture. I, <laughs> I don't see so any pictures. Exhibit 4 is AS400 Permanent Information. Ah, back to that. All right, you have affidavit service and a uh, fine green card service. Again, uh, compliance uh, by September 1st or the September 14th fine hearing or $25 a day fine. Granted. Thank you. 22-0678-2201, Artero. Artera, Court, Iris, and Chemline, Dorval. Code section 622-105.5, permit 21-2736 has expired. This violation was written on 418-22, so now notice of violation certified mail on 420-22. It was delivered on 427-22, so now notice of hearing certified mail on 5322. 
that was delivered on 5-10-22. Like and respond documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing and USPS tracking. Exhibit 3, verification ownership. Exhibit 4, AS-400 permit information. Okay, what are these boring presentations? All right, do you have service via signed green cards? Again, we're asking for compliance by September 1st with the September 14th fine hearing or $25 a day fine. Granted. Thank you. 22 0683 210 Catania Way, Brianna Espada, and Jonathan Jackson. Code section 622 105.59 1. Permit 192510 has expired. I wrote this violation on 41822. Send now notice of violation certified mail on 42022. Posted that to the property. Send out notice of hearing certified mail on 6322. It was signed for on 6622. Like in the following documents and evidence Exhibit 1, notice of violation affidavit of service. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing. Exhibit 3, verification ownership. Exhibit 4, AS400 permit information. Well, this is kind of boring. They don't even tell you what the permit was for, but it seems to be a three year gap in between. 9-1 uh, uh, for the permit would be fence. Okay. It's like a three year gap in between the notice and the thing, but whatever. It's all good. I sent it over to you. I found it in a different drawer. <laughs> this one, again, we're asking for compliance by September 1st or the September 14th fine hearing or $25 a day fine. It would be nice to have a stamp. That's how we'd be granted. <laughs> Thank you. 22 0701 242 Las Palmas Street, Noralba Melendez. Code sections 9 1 installed or replaced the fence without a permit. I observed this violation on 4-19-22. Send out notice of violation certified mail on 4-25-22. It was signed for on 4-30-22. Send out notice of hearing certified mail on 5-25-22. Now it's si signed for on 5-30-22. Like to enter those following documents and evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing. Exhibit 3, verification ownership. Exhibit 4, pictures. Exhibit 5, AS-400 permit information. You mean that permit from 2007 doesn't keep keep going? No. See, they put up this fence. I like the pictures, too, because everyone else has no pictures except Margaret on the fence. And she's now they've like removed the side of. fence and then the front fence. <laughs> it's all good. And, and she's got a sign green card. Like, so they still need to remove the post because I don't think they're planning on getting it permitted. Well, the world's shortest uh, clothes line. Clothes line? Pardon? A world's shortest clothesline? <laughs> Might be. All right, so what is this, 9-1? Yeah, 9-1 or 914 fine hearing or $25 a day fine. Granted. Thank you. 22-0703, 140 La Mancha Avenue, Devin H. Edwards. Code sections 124C, garbage can and public view. I observe this violation on 4-20-22. So now notice the violation certified mail on 4-25-22. Um, received. It not signed on 5-10-22. Send out notice of hearing on 5-25-22 and posted that to the property. Like the following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing affidavit of service. Exhibit 3, verification ownership. Exhibit 4, picture. Exhibit 5, affidavit of compliance. Okay, you got him by posting, but he fixed it, so it's a finding of fact? Yes, sir. You got it, granted. Thank you. 22 0780 Bilbao Street, FKH SFR, Propco B, HLDLP. Code section 06190A35 and 124C. Sidewalk and driveway are stained, garbage can in public view. I observed this violation on 42222, so now notice of violation. Uh, certified mail on 5-3-22, and that was signed for on 5-9-22. Sent out notice of hearing certified mail on 5-25-22, now was signed for on 6-1-22. Like to enter those following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing. Exhibit 3, verification ownership. Exhibit 4, pictures. Okay. So it's the bottom of the driveway? The driveway and sidewalk are now clean. It kind of was cleaned up. Okay. But the garbage can is still in view. Why do the 
the easy thing when you can I do see. the harder thing first. And all they have to do is put it behind the silly uh, head thing. Because they already have a head. Which yep. Just gotta move it over. That would be too inconvenient. Okay. So and in that one... this the assigned green card? Yes. Yeah. So in this one, 0619A35, which is the sidewalk and driveway, are saying it will be a Fine finding effect. effect. And the remaining will be complied by... September 1st of the September 14th fine hearing or $25 a day fine. Granted. Thank you. 22 0789 13 18 Royal Palm Beach Boulevard Crossroads RTG, excuse me, R2G owner LLC. Code sections 26 41. Banner in public view. Uh, or banner is prohibited. Sorry. Observed as violation on 5 5 22. Sent out notice of violation. Certified mail on 5 10 22. That was signed for on 5-13-22. Sent out notice of hearing certified mail on 5-27-22. That was signed for on 5-31-22. I'd like to enter the following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing. Exhibit 3, verification ownership. Exhibit 4, picture. And Exhibit 5, affidavit compliance. Okay, you have a signed green card. I hope they hired somebody because that place is really slow these days. And they really need to bring back the nacho fries, my daughter explained. Jones informant. Granted. Finding a fact. Thank Finding you. Finding a fact. 22-0795, 127 Cordoba Circle, Iva Locklear. Code sections 14-4, and 14-2. Disabled vehicle, structure in the setback area covered up with a tarp without a permit. Observe this violation on 5-6-22. Sent out notice of violation certified mail on 5-11-22. It was signed for on 5-16-22. Sent out notice of um, hearing certified mail on 6 3 22. That was signed for on 6 7 22. Like to enter those following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing. Exhibit 3, verification ownership. Exhibit 4, picture. Exhibit 5, AS 400 permit information. So, what is that a trailer that dropped that? I don't know what it is. That's why I have 14 2 also because it's like a miscellaneous. So it's a it mystery appears thing. to be like a structure, but they have it covered up with a tarp. It's weird. Uh, and it's in a setback, so they can't have it there. They can't have all of it. Not together. Okay. <laughs> you have a signed green card to the other service. What would you like? This one, again, we're asking for compliance by 9-1 or the 9-14 fine here, your $25 a day fine. Granted. Thank you. 22-0802, 177 Cordoba Circle, Xavier Edwards. Uh, code section 622... 108.4, 1571, 15141-06190835. Work without a permit, replace wood on home, vegetation removed without a permit, sidewalk and driveway are stained. Observe this violation on 510.22. Send out notice of violation, certified mail on 513.22. They received it on 524.22. Sent out notice of hearing certified mail on 525-22. Posted that to the property. I'd like to enter the following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing affidavit of service. Exhibit 3, verification of ownership. Exhibit 4, picture. And Exhibit 5, AS400 permit information. Some of the photographs are, are quite old that I have um, in the case, but it's not... It's only to show the vegetation that was there prior to them removing vegetation. So that's why I included those photos. Mm. See on the side of the home there? All yep. that vegetation is now, I believe it's down to one tree. Yeah, that's the dreaded. Some of the stuff in the front has been removed as well. Yeah, it's a dreaded three letters in Florida building, WFS. You know what that means? Wood frame oh, okay. structure. Yeah. Wood frame structures in Florida love to rot, rot. or Termites. turn termited. You remember Vinny Berto? Or not, yeah, Vinny Berto? He, uh, he was one of your inspectors. He redid his entire house in Hardy Boy. Wow. Which is what you do bathrooms out yeah. of. Yeah. Because he got tired of all that. Because yeah. you've got to replace it every few years because the moisture just seeps up. So they did a wonderful job. They had to clean it out to get to it. It's going to be beautiful. But a permit would have been nice. Yep. So 
0691. And this one, code section 0619A35, which again is a sidewalk and driveway stain, is a finding of fact. The remaining code sections comply by 91 or 914 or $25 a day fine. Sidewalk driveway. And all else is 91914.25. Granted. Thank you. 22 0829 107 Cortez Avenue, Winston Wishards. Code section 622 105.5, permit 20. Can't read my handwriting. 21 2897 has expired. I wrote this violation on 513.22. So now notes of violation certified mail on 514.22. Was signed for on 516.22. Sent out notice of hearing certified mail on 525.22. Posted that to the property. Like then are the following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing affidavit of service. Exhibit 3, verification ownership. Exhibit 4, AS400 permit information. All right, so you have a signed green card, you have service. Again, comply by 9 1 or 9 14 fine hearing or $25 a day fine. Granted. Thank you. 22 0849 142 Meadowlark Drive, Alto Asset Company 1 LLC. Code section 622 105.5, permit 20 0026 has expired. I wrote this violation on 516 22. Send out notice of violation certified mail on 517.22. It was signed for on 521.22. Send out notice of hearing certified mail on 6322. That was delivered on 615.22. Like to enter the following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing. USPS tracking. Exhibit 3, verification ownership. Exhibit 4, AS400 permit information. Sign green card equals service. What would you like? Again, comply by 9 1 or the 9 14 fine hearing or $25 a day fine. Granted. Thank you. 22 0166 is being pulled. 22 0068 11001 Southern Boulevard. IVT Southern Royal Palm Beach 1031 LLC. Code section 6 22 105.5. Description permit number 192245 <coughs> is expired. I would like to enter the following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing. Exhibit 3, verification of ownership. Um, and exhibit four. 4, permit information. <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> Got stalled on that 4 uh, one. I was in the wrong place. <laughs> I'm looking, I'm like, picture. This is not making sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you have a signed green card. You have service. Uh, this actually, this have one again, comply by 9 1 or 9 14 fine hearing or $25 a day fine. Granted. 22 0726 11061 Southern Boulevard, IVT Southern Royal Palm Beach, 1031 LLC. Code section 622 105.5. This violation was set certified mail 422 22. It was signed for on 426.22. It was sent certified mail to 622.22 and signed for on 628.22. I would like to enter the following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing. Exhibit 3, verification of ownership. And Exhibit 4, permit information. Okay. All right, signed green card equals service. We've got two of them. Again, we're asking for compliance two by 9 cases, 1. Three cases, four cases. All right, never mind. We're we have asking a signed green card. Compliance by, oh, compliance by 9 1 or 9 14 fine here or $25 a day fine. All right, first one is almost all just okay. 9 1 9 14 25. Thank you. 22 0727 10, excuse me, 11061 Southern Boulevard, IVT Southern. Royal Palm Beach 1031 LLC. I would like to, uh, this violation was sent certified mail 422.22. It was signed for on 426.22. Notice of hearing was mailed 622.22 and signed for on 628.22. I would like to enter the following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing. Exhibit 3, verification of ownership. And Exhibit 4, permit information. All right. So in the code section 
All right, so I'm getting confused here. Because I've got three of these in four cases. I'm not quite sure which goes to which. I'm pretty sure this goes to the first one. Because that's a 622-105, but so are they all. And I've got three of them. I'm going to try to find that one. 726. That was the last one. All right, 727. And what's the next one? 728? No. What happened to 68? 68. Oh, did I? Okay. That's where the fourth one is. Yeah. Okay. Well, one more. Okay. All right, so I already, okay, I did the 2268 already. Yes, and then sir. We, now yeah. we slide down into 22726. You did that one already as well. Okay, so that's 919425. Yes, sir. Yes. Which 68 one is this three. track, and you can't Okay, back. good. And then the next one now is 927. 22727. 727, yes, sir. Seven. Okay, good. All right, you have signed green cards on that because you've got 1,400 signed green cards. Again, we're asking for compliance by 9 1 or the 9 14 fine hearing or $25 a day fine. Granted. 22 0728 11151 Southern Boulevard, number 110, IVT, Southern Royal Palm Beach. Southern Royal Palm Beach, 1031 LLC. Code section 622105.5. The building permit is expired. This violation was sent certified mail 42222 and it was signed for in 42622. Notice of hearing was mailed 62222 and signed for in 62822. I would like to enter the following documents and evidence. Exhibit 1 notice of violation, Exhibit 2 notice of hearing, Exhibit 3 verification of ownership, and Exhibit 4 permit information. So they got the building permit extension sent in, but they didn't pay the 3750. Two days ago. I'm paying attention. All right, so they still haven't finished up, so 91914? Yes, sir, or $25 a day fine? Yes. Granted. It hasn't been issued yet, but yes. It was paid for it first, I believe. 22 0954 11061 Southern Boulevard, IVT, Southern Royal Palm Beach, 1031 LLC. Code section 622105.5. Building permit number 2157 is expired. This violation was sent certified mail 52322 and it was signed for and not dated. Notice of hearing was sent 62222 and it was signed for in 62822. I would like to enter the following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1 notice of violation, Exhibit 2 notice of hearing, Exhibit 3 verification of ownership, and Exhibit 4 permit information. We got a lot of permits and they just didn't care. Okay, so you have service on this one too. You have service on all of them. Again, compliance by 9 1 or the 9 14 fine hearing or $25 a day fine. We're just going to think you sent multiple copies of the same thing. You've only got six or seven cases. 22 0956. The address should be 11947 Southern Boulevard, Crestwood Square, LTD. 11947 is what it has on the agenda. Yeah, sorry. Yours was corrected. Mine wasn't. Sorry. The Village of Royal, the code section 622105.5, Village of Royal Palm Beach building department is expired. This violation was written on 523 and it was uh, signed for on 525. Notice of hearing was mailed out on 622 and it was signed for on 624. I would like to enter the following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing. Exhibit 3, verification of ownership. And Exhibit 4, permit information. Okay. You have service, you have service. Again, comply by 9 1 or 9 14 fine hearing or $25 a day fine. Granted. 21 0989 10155 Okeechobee Boulevard Target Corporation. Code section 622 105.5. Um, the description Village of Royal Palm Beach building permit is expired. This violation was mailed on 10 27 and it was signed 10 27 21 and it was signed for on 11 8 21. Notice of hearing was mailed out on 622-22, and it was signed for on 627-22. I would like to enter the following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing. Exhibit 3, verification of ownership. And Exhibit 4, permit information. Hmm. Your taxes actually went down a couple thousand dollars. 
So I came <laughs> 356,000 this year. So they have signed the green card. What would you like? Again, comply by 9 1 or the 9 14 fine here, your $25 a day fine. Granted. Thank you. 22 0839 12960 Palms West Drive. That 101 should be removed from your agenda. Palms West Hospital, Inc., Ducharme, McMillan, and Associates. Code section 622 105.5, Village of Royal Palm Beach building permit is expired. This violation was sent certified mail on 51422 and signed for on 51822. Notice of hearing was mailed on 62222 and it was signed for and not dated. I would like to enter the following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing. Exhibit 3, verification of ownership. And Exhibit 4, permit information. Mm -hmm. All right, you have service to you a fine green card. What would you like? Again, comply by 9 1 or 9 14 fine assessment hearing or $25 a day fine. Granted. Thank you. Business tax receipt hearings 22 0598 is being pulled, 22 0896 is being pulled, 22 0916, 12001 Southern Boulevard, Williams and Sons Realty of 29th Street, Inc., U Health Clinic at Walgreens. The code section 16.1 and 16.9, Village of Royal Palm Beach business tax receipt is expired. This violation was sent certified mail on 5.19.22 and it was signed and not dated. Notice that the hearing was sent out 6.22.22 and it was signed for and not dated. I would like to enter the following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation. Exhibit 2, notice of hearing. Exhibit 3, verification of ownership. And Exhibit 4, AS400 business tax receipt information. Okay, so we've got a nice stamp that they put on their green cards. If you don't mind. Yeah. So I keep forgetting who my favorite green stamp guy is. Wes uh, Miller. Wes Miller, there we go. <laughs> so these definitely got your things. They got advice. They have service. Let me guess. Nine one? Nine no, no, this is this is a delinquent oh, business, business tax. tax. Oh, yeah, so it's the amounts. more than one hundred and fifty days delinquent, so we're asking for $100 license fee plus 25%, which is 125 plus the 250 admin plus 250 penalty for a total of 625 payable by August 12th. 625 by 912 is granted. 812. 812. Thank uh. you. 22-0919 is being pulled. 22-0925 is being pulled. Now we're on page bottom of page 8, rescinding order. Assessing fine 22-0086, 244 La Mancha Avenue, Diana Y. and Jeffrey Valentin. You just want to rescind the order? We want to rescind the previous order assessing fine, which Granted. you dated June 10th, 2022. Granted. You don't have to worry. You want to undo it? It's a lot easier than doing it. Undone. 22-0486, 11440, Okeechobee Boulevard, number 208, CS Property Holdings, LLC, All Phase, Inc. Same thing, we'd like to rescind the previous order assessing fine. It was a BTR, it was the order finding delinquency and assessing fines and penalties. Granted. Thank you. Next, our health safety hearings. Case 22-1199, 855 Azalea Drive, Leroy S. and Norma M. Gillespie. So she comes Code in for the encore. Code section 1557, grass and weeds exceed type allowed. I observed this on 7522. The notice of violation was mailed out 7722 with the notice of hearing. Um, they were both posted. Um, we would like to enter the following into evidence Exhibit 1, notice of violation, notice of hearing, and affidavit of service. Exhibit 2, verification of ownership, and Exhibit 3, pictures. I think the lawnmower broke. Yeah. So, okay. So this so one will be fine. Your posting. We're asking for a one-time abatement, so your order would say the $206 in administrative plus $80 for the MO for a total of 286 to be brought back to you at a subsequent fine assessment hearing on 8 10 22. All right, you do not have an order here? Or do you? you do have an order there. You should have an order there. So I was asking, do I have an order here? You should have all three of these. Is it the last page? Is it the first page? I believe so. <laughs> I'm confused. Oh, here's an order. Sorry about that. That's okay. I can be confused. All right, granted, and I'm signing it. 
Thank, Thank you, you, sir. 22-1200, 873 Azalea Drive, Alfred L. Silence. Code section 1557, grass and weeds exceeds height allowed. I observed this on 7522. The notice of violation and notice of hearing were mailed out together on 7722 and were posted. We would like to enter the following into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation, notice of hearing. Exhibit 2, verification of ownership, and Exhibit 3, pictures. So how far apart are these houses? Not far. I mean, 55 and 73, same side of the yeah, street. Same right? side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you have service via posting. It's just sort of weird to get them placed yes. in that area. Again, same thing. We're asking for a one-time abatement. You have the order before you, which authorizes later the 206 for admin and 80 for mowing. Fine assessment hearing on August 10th. Granted. Thank Fine. you. Thank you. 22-1101, 76 Barrow Drive, Dana S. Davies. I think I need a, do I have a Davies packet. Code sections 1557. Sorry, Grass and weeds exceed height allowed. I observe this violation on 622-22. So now notice of violation and notice of hearing certified mail on 622-22 and posted to the property. I'd like to know the following documents into evidence. Exhibit 1, notice of violation, notice of hearing, affidavit of service. Exhibit 2, verification of ownership. Exhibit 3, pictures. So, like, you know. Too bad the vines don't cover the entire fence. Yep. It's a mess. Those people need a riding lawnmower. Like you have a posted service, so you have service and land planning. Again, we're asking for a one-time abatement authorization, which will reflect 206 in admin, 80 in mowing, or previous, or excuse me, subsequent fine assessment hearing on August 10th. Do I have any minutes or anything to sign? Ooh, I do. And let the record reflect that I signed the minutes for June. Okay. All right, do we have anything further for the code enforcement? No, board? sir. 